Hello guys, welcome back to Genshin Compact. My name is Yuga and I know it's been a long time since the last update to my channel and honestly, I'm quite surprised that some of my videos are actually doing quite well and better than my expectations. So before the start of the video, thank you guys so much for watching my videos. But anyways, today I'm going to be talking about diminishing return for some really basic walkthrough of the damage calculation on why diminishing return exists and why is it important that you shouldn't overstack a type of damage. If you look at the clip right now, guess which one is attack send and which one is EM send. Some of you probably will be surprised that the EM send has a higher damage number compared to the attack send. But this is one of the demonstration that why you should always distribute your stat evenly, accounting in your team members and if you're building your characters. Just a disclaimer that you shouldn't build child on EM sand, which I'll explain the reason later as well. If we look at the damage calculation formula, some of you probably are like way too dank already, but I'll try to make it as easy as possible because most of these are actually not hard math. These are essentially few areas of damage multiplier that we can utilize to maximum your damage. Base damage, damage bonus, critical hits, enemy defense multiplier, enemy resistance multiplier, and reactions. If we look into base damage, you will find out that it's basically just your talent multiplied by your attack or defense or even HP. Then your attack basically comes from calculation with character's attack and character's weapon, which is commonly known as base attack, that is the white number on your character's stats. It multiplies with attack bonus, then add the flat attack. Attack bonuses are basically anything you see that has attack percent increase, such as your attack send, goblet, circlet, or the subset attack percent. I mean, the reason why this is the easiest stat to use as an example for diminishing return is because on top of these stat, you also have stuff like Gladiator or Shimanawa 2 piece that gives 18% attack percent, or Noblesse Oblige 4 piece that gives 20% attack bonus when the character with a set uses their burst. Then you also have weapons such as Ammo's Bow that gives insane attack percent bonus with its subset, or Elegy for the End that gives 20% attack bonus. MDDS, which is a 3 star weapon, literally gives 48% attack bonus to the next on field character for 10 seconds. And of course, we also have two pyro character creating power resonant that gives extra 25% attack bonus on the team. As for flat attack, it's like flat attack from the artifact subsets or main sets such as Feather, and we also have one of the best character Bennett that gives flat attack to all of his team member inside his burst. Then we move on to stat like damage bonus, which are just stat that have damage bonus at the end, such as elemental damage bonus percent on goblets, or charge attack damage bonus on artifact sets like Shimanawa 4 piece or Wonder Trope 4 set. Character like Kazuha also gives you elemental damage bonus based off his elemental mastery. Resistance and defense deduction, also commonly known as resistant and defense shred, which are rarely found in characters' kits, and because of how rare they are, it is often hard to get a point of diminishing return. Artifacts such as Veridescent 4 piece on a Nemo character to lower elemental resistance on the enemy, or something like Lisa's Ascension 4 that decrease defense by 15% are all shred bonus that affect the enemy rather than buffing character stats. Then we also have critical hits like crit damage and crit rate that we commonly know, which are also harder to find on character that stack this type of stats. However, these stack do appear in a lot of weapon subsets or even passive, and people generally farm and aim for extremely high crit values in artifact which can lead to diminishing return in some cases that I'll talk about late later. Finally, we have reaction where there are two types of reaction, amplifying reaction and transformative reactions. Both reaction emphasize on elemental mastery while transformative reaction only uses character's level and elemental mastery into its calculation, and amplifying reaction still accounts for crit damage and attack before uses multiplication instead of just addition. Okay, so let's get right into the topic after all these explanation. Since I said attack is the easiest to get its diminishing return, here is how we're going to calculate it. The calculation is going to be with this assumption below. So we're going to have Ganyu melt. So Ganyu level 90 with all level 9 talents and equipped with level 9 DR1 ammo bow. Shimanawa 4 piece and with attack sand, crowd damage goblet, and crit rate circlet. Subset distribution is going to be listed below with subset role that are worth mentioning because it is in 
calculate into the formula are 19.84% of attack percent, 33 flat attack, 40 elemental mastery, 33.1% crit rate, and 79.4% crit damage. The rest of the team is going to be consisting of Shenling, Bennett with Noblesse 4 piece, and C1 level 90 level 9 talents across the board, equipped with level 90 R1 prototype rancor. Last, we have Zhongli with Tenacity 4 piece to proc the 20% attack bonus with his rock pillar as well as decreasing nearby enemy with 20% resistant to all elemental or physical damage. The calculation with EM Sand is going to be the same except changing out the attack percent sand with EM Sand instead. If we look at the two damage number, we can know that Ganyu charge attack will be around 14.8% better from EM Sand than attack percent sand because if we look closely, attack percent stacking in this team is actually insane. We're looking at 299% attack increase if you apply all buff versus 252% with EM Sand. That is only 18.6% difference even if you remove a whole 46.6% attack bonus send. Then, if we compare Amplifying Reaction, we have over 208 with EM Sand and 161% with Attack Percent Sand, putting us 29% more Amplifying Reaction damage bonus than Attack Sand. Just for reference, this also applied to Wonder Trope even with 2-piece, giving 80 elemental mastery, showing again just how much attack percent actually get to a diminishing return before EM do. We're still looking at 9% difference in final damage number. As for why you shouldn't build EM send on all reaction-based character or just even most character in general, it's because of something called ICD. This is basically telling a character, a certain character or a certain kit of a character to not react with a certain time frame or within a number of hits, making EM send objectively bad because their EM isn't utilized with all attacks traded for these EM stats on the way. This means that characters like Child that only vape for his first burst like in the demonstration or also happen to have standard ICD with his normal attack and he's also applying a tons of Hydro which is not reaction anyways. Characters such as Yomiya also have standard ICD with her Pyro Infuse attack will not benefit with attack gain if you change to EM Sense. Anything related to ICD such as ICD table or video talking about ICD will be linked in the description. Last, there are actually time where attack percent can actually be good because of some team that have a little amount of attack percent such as Ayaka Freeze team. Since Blizzard Strayer 4 set gives out a ton of crit rate, leaving crit damage as the only crit set to really build, adding crit damage even though would be optimal for most character in most cases, with overstacking amount of crit from artifacts or equipped weapons such as Mist Blitter is going to eventually reach a diminishing return where attack percent circlet will be a superior option. Well, that's going to wrap up the video for this one and even though it's not a really long video, I hope this one shines a bit of light on how potentially to get more damage on your character. And of course, you have websites like Genshin Optimizer that help you to achieve maximum damage possible. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.